Listen to this. This is original voice I hey, used. Hey Claire, hope you are doing well. I wanted to wish you happy birthday. And sorry, not being truthful from the start, but hope you are doing well. And this is voice after cloning. Deep beneath the ocean's surface, where sunlight fades to perpetual twilight, extraordinary creatures have evolved in ways that defy imagination. Bioluminescent jellyfish pulse with ethereal blue light. The first time I used this tool, I was honestly shocked. I've tested countless text-to-speech and voice cloning tools before, but none of them come even close to the realism this one delivers. The accent, the pitch, the natural flow of the voice, everything sounds incredibly human. To really test it, I sent voice messages generated with this tool to several people, and not a single one of them could tell it wasn't a real recording. If you're searching for the most realistic voice generation tool available right now, this is truly the only one you need. The best part? You can run it on Google Collab even as a free user. If you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest AI tools. Watch the video till the end, don't forget to like it, and now let's get started with how to use Echo TTS on Google Collab. Click on GitHub link in my description to download Echo TTS Notebook for Google Collab. Click on Notebook and download it. After downloading go to main page of Google Collab and create new notebook always create new notebook for new tool. After notebook created click on file and upload notebook you downloaded. Click on Runtime and change Runtime choose T4 GPU and click Save. Click on Connect to connect with Runtime. After connected first run clone cell then requirement cell. After requirements run changes code then run main code. When you see Gradio URL click on it to launch Echo TTS. To use this upload voice file 5 to 10 second in WAV format what you want to sound like. You can use it for single or multi speakers with S command.
type text what you want to convert to speech. You can also try other settings for even better result and force voice to 100% sound like your original audio then click generate. Jamie Patterson, right? No, I know where Patterson works as well. I know where I know he used to work near on this street, and this is a weird street. The only person who I don't know where they work, Jamie. But anyway, why are we even talking about who works where? You can download generated this by clicking on download option. To use this voice file to send as live message, there a tool I made you can get it from my buy me coffee. I will put link in my description. On this tool choose file sharing option. Upload generated voice file. Untick change voice option and choose VB cable as your output. Before playing it go to where you want to send live message. Now play voice file good thing about that it run in background and beep 5 times so you got 5 seconds to click on mic option to record message. No, I know where Patterson works as well. I know where I know he used to work near on this street, and this is a weird street. The only person who I don't know where they work, Jamie. But anyway, why are we- When you send this message other will see it as voice message directly sent from your microphone. Using both of these tools together you can do wonders. I hope you like this video. If you got any question or request comment, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you need any help in installations message me on Instagram. Take care.